Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Court Farms here in Farming Simulator 22 with me C Waddy. We are here today picking up at the end of the last video. I'm starting to do some ploughing of the fields we need to do the ploughing on. So I've got my little plough, I've got my John Deere tractor, I've got my GPS set. I don't know if I've got this set the right way with the offset and everything. We'll find out in a minute when I turn around. When I get to the end of the row. See, see if I need to rotate this. Doesn't look like it. Or I might need to rotate the plow at the end of each row. We'll have a check. <laughs> Check the map screen, that'll tell me. Um, I think I'm okay if I'm doing it this way. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. What I might do though, is I might go around and plough my headland in a second. That will make it a little bit easier for me. Because I won't have to worry about um, driving off the field then. And we'll uh, do a headland circuit around the field. might do a second headland as well because as you can see I'm already going a little bit off track it's hard with these angled plows I'm not a big fan of them <laughs> um, I, I've probably said this before in many of my farpsing videos not a big fan of the plows like this but it's what we start out with I did have a look in the store very quickly before I started recording and sadly anything better than this requires tractors with a lot more power than what I've got currently available so we're stuck with a two and a half meter plow ladies and gents so we'll do a little bit of plowing then I'll probably pause the recording put a little bit of a cut in the episode because of course you probably don't want to see me just driving up and down on one field you'd like to see me getting a bit further along so that is what i plan to do in this series as well first time ever maybe in one of my let's plays where i actually do put some jump cuts especially when you're doing tasks like this which is like going to take ages um we can get some other stuff we are getting slightly bogged down very bogged down with this wet mud Plowing in the rain is probably not the most sensible thing to be doing. Probably should have waited till it was dry, but we do kind of need to get on. I mean, the only other job I could have done uh, would have been cutting the grass, and it's an option, I guess. It would have been an option. Could have done some grass bales. Could have got them wrapped and start making some silage because that could be a way for us to make a nice bit of income towards the end of the with the end of the year coming approaching yeah i'm going to do another headland pass i think because i've really not done a great job of going around this field So 
I get that bit that I missed first time round. Right. And like I say, just run round. It's just so I've got a bit more room to turn round when I'm doing my rows. Um, without crashing into the hedge and driving through the hedge, which obviously doesn't look very realistic. I know you can drive through the hedges on this map. The mod author, the map author, Oxygen David, did leave them without collisions, but, you know, I like to do it somewhat realistic on maps like this. So I won't be taking shortcuts through hedges. Much like I didn't in my Calmsden series, if you watch that. I didn't do any... Um, I didn't do any jumps in that one. Right, ladies and gents, we are a few minutes into the video now. I think you get the gist on how to do ploughing. So I will see you when I have finished this field. Okay, ladies and gents, we are coming up to finishing the ploughing of the first field. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. It is now 20 past 5 in the evening as I have finished the first field of three fields that need to be ploughed. So I'm currently debating what to do next. Do I carry on ploughing into the night on my fields? Or do I go and pull in potentially a cheeky little contract somewhere instead and earn a bit of money? Um, there are some cultivating contracts on the map for me to do. And in fact, there's quite a few little cultivating contracts around the place. There's a nice one there on Field 90 for Adrienne Hooper. Now, the question I'm asking myself is, do we have equipment that can do that? We have a cultivator that is three meters, the Horsch Pirano 3FX. We also have the four meter power harrow. Um, my Massey Ferguson can operate both of those. So, if I wanted to, I could actually go and earn some money now and save my plowing till the daylight. Until we have some daylight here on the map. Because um, it is getting late. And cultivating is a lot easier to do. Um, I'll be honest. Because I don't have to be rotating the uh, cultivator. So, I'm thinking to myself. I'm going to rotate that. Ready. For starting this field but i might do carry on with the plowing in the morning when we've got a fresh full day ahead of us instead i'm thinking switching over to the massey and going and getting a cultivator or my power harrow uh probably the power harrow i would think and i'm gonna go and start on field 90 cultivating contract so, where is my power harrow? Probably. Uh, in the shed over here somewhere. If I can find it. And that's my cedar. Power Harrow, where are you located? <laughs> There's my bale 
my my bale trolley, by the way, the one that works of picking up my bales. Um, not in this shed. Not in there. Not in there. Hmm. I've lost a tool somewhere. Somewhere on the map, there is a power harrow. I just need to find it, ladies and gents. Uh, where could it be? <laughs> Not back here, is it? Somewhere? Not in this shed. Hmm, that is a peculiar one. I don't know where my power harrow is. Um, that's my mower. That's my cultivator. That's my cedar. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Is it attached to the cedar? Ladies and gents, I do believe we have found our power harrow. <laughs> it was on the back. It was attached to the cedar. That means then that for seeding purposes, we can actually power harrow fields and seed at the same time. But unfortunately... I don't want to do that because we're going to do that contract instead so i need to head over to field 90 so you're going to need to come back and join me in a moment's time ladies and gents okay so we have got the cultivating finished i've done it <laughs> it's it's quarter to 11 at night but i have finished the cultivating on field 90. um We'll get paid for that then. I'll collect that money. Huh? Huh? I'm only 67% thought of it. Why is that? Oh, because there's an area the other side of the bloody path, isn't there? God, didn't realise this was all part of field 92. Oh my days, well. There we go, there's a there's a mistake. Always check the map, folks. Because apparently I've not finished cultivating. <laughs> or should I say I've not finished harrowing. Um there is a slight difference between cultivators and harrows. Um, these tend to work harrows tend to work a lot shallower than cultivators. Which is really good if you don't want to produce stones on your fields and don't want to have to pick up fields. Uh, pick up stones, should I say, from your fields. However, um, you don't tend to find them in great big massive sizes because they are actually driven by the, um, mechanically driven by the tractor as well. So they don't tend to get much larger than this, whereas cultivators can get pretty big. But they are operated purely by being dragged through the soil and obviously, like I say, tend to operate a little bit deeper. 
but nowhere near as deep as the plough, which obviously I was doing a little bit earlier. So I guess we carry on going around the field. It is very dark, I have to say, ladies and gents, at this time of night. It did get very dark very early, actually, for September. It was like pitch black by seven on the map. Um, so I'm wondering if it's one of those weirdo maps where it's very light, very early hours of the game. So I may have to change my sleeping habits that I normally get into when I'm on a uh, on a map in a Let's Play series. We might have to start waking up a lot earlier in the day. I'm trying to gauge what time it actually gets light. Because we might have to start working very early. But yeah, contract is now 70% complete. So yeah, this is not a diff this is not a separate field, ladies and gentlemen. There is a track running through the field, a path, a road. But actually, field 90 is split over like two separate areas. Very interesting. The only time I've ever seen that before is on um, on one of Stevie's on Stevie's Four Lake map, where there's a big field there which is split by a road. I must admit, I've never tried working one of them yet. It'd be interesting to see how course play handles that. A, a field where you're on two separate plots of land. Hmm, a little bit bizarre. But yeah, just doing the cultivating, earn a little bit of money, I figure. We might as well try and earn a little bit of money each day, because we are hemorrhaging cash very quickly at the minute. Because um, we're having to buy things like scouts to do field sampling. We're going to have to buy stuff like seed. We're going to have to buy stuff like fertiliser as well. We're going to have to put some... Um, sensors on this machine before too long as well because we've only got the two tractors available to us so we're gonna have to fit this with those um precision farming sensors and then we're kind of gonna be at mercy so like first year really um we're not gonna worry too much we're not gonna i'm not gonna worry about things like weeding i'm not gonna worry too much about things like rolling fields um buying equipment to do that I think we just take the, the, the penalty loss, the yield loss for those, and just the crops, and um, try and get stuff that we can sell, <laughs> basically. Get stuff we can sell, um, and earn some money from. Although it is going to be hard, because um, looking at our growth calendar again, if we go back to the growth calendar, uh, we are planting in September, going to be harvesting in July, but we're not going to be able to sell that stuff till December. So we're not going to see the income for over a year. We're not going to get any income for over a year, which is why the grass field on this map could be my lifeline for the next 12 months. Getting silage bales off of that field I mean obviously we're going to be doing some contracts we'll be doing contracts um, where we can where we are able to Yeah, we've just got to um, be a little bit sensible at this early stage on the farm. So, uh, I don't, uh, there is a fuel tank, I think, at the farm. Replaceable one. I need to make sure we fill that up as well because these tractors are going to run out of fuel doing jobs like this with small, with lots of small tools, cultivating, ploughing. We're going to be doing lots, driving lots of rows up and down fields. So, yeah. Um, 
not quite as handy. The fuel consumption. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting through this field fairly well now. Now I've actually realised where it goes. And getting to this field wasn't really an issue either. It was fairly straightforward. Just two gates that I had to um, open to help the auto drive driver who was heading this way whilst I was trying to catch a bit of a sneaky watch of the uh, Formula 1 sprint race today that's just taken place um, from Spa hence why I'm wearing my uh, Mercedes t-shirt although it's not been a good day for Mercedes because uh, poor old Lewis has been slapped with a 5 second penalty for uh, a collision with Perez when I actually think that's more of a in the wet, it's more of a racing incident and I don't think really again when Lewis is on the inside of a corner I don't really think he's got anywhere to go when the car outside him is turning in for the same corner, Lewis can't disappear. So I wonder if we'll see a protest for that from Mercedes, a protest over that penalty, because um, it seem awfully half in the conditions here in Spa, in the wet race that we've just had, sprint race, that Perez, who seemed to be going backwards anyway because his tyres had gone um, and had no grip, um, manages to uh, who who basically as far as I can see turned into Lewis and Lewis is the one that comes out with a penalty there you go not the first time Lewis Hamilton gets penalised unfairly in the sport of Formula 1 but yeah farming simulator oh I forgot to mention as well I've got the Porsche DLC installed and activated now on this save as well. Because obviously that came out this week, just gone. Um, I gave away some DLC heat um, during my live streams this week over on my channel. I've also got one key still to give away. And... Um, not too sure when I'm going to do that. I might do it for the YouTube channel, the viewers here on YouTube. Um, I might do a giveaway for Porsche DLC if anyone doesn't already own it. I just need to come up with some way of doing it. How I can do it on YouTube, how I can sort it out. Because the problem with YouTube is there's no, no easy way really to contact and message anybody who subscribes to the channel or what have you. Um, the way I did it on Kick with the stream during my live streams was very simple. I announced that the giveaway had began and people were able to enter the giveaway using the lovely bot system on my live stream. And the bot system, once the giver, once I decided that enough time had passed for people to em enter, I closed the competition and let the bot draw the winner. I then announced the winner on the stream. And that person just had to go to my Discord channel. Uh, go into the general chat or welcome chat and say, Hi, I'm so-and-so from Kit. Um, I, I just won the DLC, Porsche DLC. And... Um, Um, I was then able to direct message, send them a private message with the code um, included for them to be able to download the DLC. Uh, I'm not really sure how I can do it on on YouTube, how I can do a giveaway. One possible suggestion that was given to me by a member actually in my stream team, in my stream team, community, my live stream of it, was to do it as a bit of a competition, whereby on one of my videos going forward, or maybe over a couple of videos, because obviously not everybody, some people might not watch every one of my Farm Sim series, 
some people might only watch my football well what you know some people might watch Port Farm some people might watch Sao Carlos some people might only watch like my Ringwoods and stuff um, so to give every possible channel subscriber a chance of winning uh, the DLC key is maybe to do it over the course of a week all my farm sim videos that I upload to the channel over say a given week um, will have uh, will be available for people to enter and the way people will enter the um, giveaway is by actually leaving a comment on the video to just simply say what has been your favourite See what E, that's me. What has been your favourite moment of my farming simulator videos that you've ever watched? Ever. Okay. And then basically, I'll go through the comments, read all the comments at the end of the week on all the videos that are uh, that qualify for the giveaway. And I'll pick the best I'll pick the one that I think is close to my own favourite moment. <laughs> And then I will reply to the person to comment, let them know they have won, and it will then be down to them to make sure they are in my Discord group, and they write in my chat, on my Discord, in my channel, my general channel or whatever, that they are so-and-so from YouTube, they won the DLC, and um, I can then send them the message with the enclosed key. I think that is what I'm going to do. Um, but obviously, I need to announce that officially across a couple of videos. The problem with that is um, I've already got a lot of my Estancia videos already recorded well into sort of August. So whether it's a case of I just do it for across the court farms videos maybe, and my live stream videos, my um, Ringwoods um, videos, because I can do that. I can do. I can announce that in next week's video on Wednesday. That's not a problem. For the Ringwoods, if I do any multiplayer videos the channel as well that'll be okay although the chances of multiplayer videos is going to be slim and going to be slightly although i've done obviously some of my tranquil waters multiplayer um videos streams here on youtube and i've done some of my i've done some of the vods um obviously i've tended to upload those on the days at the minute where i don't have anything Obviously, Court Farms, as a series, will be taking the place of um, my previous Let's Play series. So these videos will be released on a Court Farm. My Court Farm series will be released on a Tuesday and Friday. Um, and I think everybody can enjoy that. So yes, I will. I will make an announcement about the giveaway in the next video. Um, will I? Yes, because that will start. That will be on a Friday. That will give people a chance over the weekend to watch videos and get their entries in. Um, it will also make them aware that the Estancia videos are also, the following week, are also enabled. Even though I won't mention it in those videos. I might drop a comment on to say this this video qualifies for the DLC giveaway sort of thing. But obviously if you watch the Court Farms video on the Friday beforehand, um, this will be it. You will know that all the farm sim videos the following week, so from that video for the following week, um, are all eligible and all count in, are all entered into the giveaway for the uh, Porsche DLC key code that I have got spare. So, as you are watching this video, ladies and gents, 
The one at the end of the week on Friday is the one that starts the beginning of the competition. And then the one the following week ends it. <laughs> No, it won't. No, no. The one the following will be in it. It'll be the Ringwoods video on the Sunday. So, in the competition, there'll be three Court Farms videos. There will be two Ringwoods videos. And there will be two Estancia videos. That you can stand a chance to win on by, like I say, leaving a, a comment with your favourite... Um, See what he bumps in moment. Now, if you're also a, a smart person, what you'll do is you'll leave a comment on every video to increase your chances of winning, but you must post a different moment. You can't use post the same moment on every video. <laughs> okay. And right, with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on getting this cultivated, this field. And I'll see you in the morning, ladies and gents. And welcome back, everybody. It is indeed morning. Well, it's 20 to 7 in the morning. That's about as light as it, you know, that's, this is like as, as, as early as it gets. Light. I thought maybe with it getting dark so early at like 7 p.m. that it was going to be much lighter early like you know 5 6 a.m. but that's not the case on this map so very limited farming hours very limited daylight farming hours um we're gonna go and i'm gonna go get in my uh plowing machine again ladies and gents and um we're gonna have to go plowing so, put some lights on. Like I say, I'm going to go around this field. Start ploughing another bit of land. Spend the day doing this. I literally can't do anything else at the minute until these fields are ploughed because on the main map screen these fields show us need needs plowing so we need to get that done i'm then obviously gonna have to think about what i'm gonna do about the stone situation because uh, i don't really have enough money to buy a stone collector do i just leave them this year because i would like to get sewing done as early as i can but if it's going to take me over a day if it's going to take me a day to do this field, it's going to take me a day to do the other field. It only leaves me with two days to start sowing. And as we've already seen, ladies and gents, my cedar is not exactly the biggest cedar in the world. Um, so, yeah, we kind of have to... I'm going to take a screenshot for the thumbnail. We kind of have to think about how we're going to um, approach this. Because, like I say, I would like to get some crops in early. Um, if I can. And um, give us the best chance of getting them harvested a little bit early. Because, obviously, if we don't plant till October, it's going to push the harvesting back a month as well. So, we kind of do want to get... At least, I would like to get at least one of the three fields that we've got available to us to put seed on done in September. Um, then we can, I can worry about the other two after that. The pro What I don't really fancy is being in a position whereby all my crops that I seed all want harvesting in the exact same month. Because again... Given the size of our harvester and that, that would cause a bit of an issue for me. I would probably then end up struggling to get my harvesting done in time. 
Um, but we will see. We will see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to bring you back to show you that we've moved through another day. I'm going to carry on doing some ploughing. I will potentially bring you back, ladies and gents, to do uh, seeding or some sowing in the next episode. So for now, ladies and gents, from me, thank you for watching this wonderful, lovely video. Hope you've enjoyed it today as we've done a little bit of everything. A little bit of ploughing, a little bit of cultivating. We did a first contract on the map. And uh, yes, we are getting into the farming work now. The soil sampling has been done. And obviously, when we come to start sowing, I can talk a little bit more then about the, the seeding uh, system that Precision Farming does in the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Court Farms. I've been Seawaddy. This has been Farming Simulator 22. And for now, take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Goodbye. <laughs>